Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. This is a super quick video all about adding back motion blur into your shot. So if, for instance, you have been using the new gyro stabilization and you used a higher shutter speed or a shutter angle, that motion blur is gone. And this video, I'll show you how you could add that back in inside of DaVinci Resolve 18. So let's get right to it. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve 18 and let's have a look at how to add in motion blur again. Just to sum things up a little bit here, um, this clip right here, I used the gyro camera gyro, the gyro stabilization on that and that's why, because of the way this is shot, I want to add in motion blur because this was shot at a shutter angle of 45 and just to see how much the gyro actually does you can see here it is without the gyro and uh, i'm just going to toggle on the gyro so you can see how much it's actually doing amazing tool i think but it's not about this tool it's about how to add back in motion blur and there's a couple of ways we can do this in davinci resolve so one method would be to go into the color tab here and go up to the effects library and just search motion and here we have a motion blur and we're just going to drag this into our note here into our clip here and here we have the different settings and uh, you know right out of the bat there's a little motion blur going on but we can change this into for instance better and also the motion range we can change that to large or small medium whatever i think we would be around medium and then we would we take a look at this there's too much motion blur i think so we're going to bump this down to let's say 35 around here somewhere so now we have this yeah and of course if we go all the way down to zero we can see how it was before so we did add in a little bit motion blur which i think is kind of nice and of course we could also if we wanted to keyframe our motion blur right here okay i'm just going to reset my note here because there is also another way of doing motion blur of course and that would be going all the way into fusion like so i have my media in and my media out so i'm just going to push shift spacebar and uh, i'm going to type in motion like that and I have my motion blur right here and I'm going just to select that and I'm going to add that in. I'm going to push shift and then I'm just going to drag and put this in between the media in and the media out. I'm going to select the note and up here, you know, I can do the exact same thing. Change it to whatever I want. Something like that. Faster, better. In fact, there is also a another way of doing it so i'm just going to move, remove my motion blur just by super simple adding in a background and i'm going to add in my media in to my background one and i'll go into the merge node here and then i'll go to the settings and i'm going into motion blur right here and here we have a lot of different settings we can go into the quality and we can bump that up to let's say around seven or nine eight i know that the shutter angle should be 180 and more or less that's all we're going to do so this is a different way of adding in motion blur and here you can see the different ways i did the motion blur in the color tab and in fusion and of course you can choose which way you want to add in motion blur into your footage if you need it Anyway, I do hope you found this little video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.